And so Adam could have taken responsibility, accountability for those flaws that are deep inside. And they did, they, they both had to suffer. They both had to, you know, really work and labor and, you know, Eve had to go through labor and Adam had to get out there and, and work outside the garden, everything where everything was, was plush and basically replenishing for itself. Now he had to go out there and toil the soil. And so, but we all have to remember that it all works according to God's plan. So God knew what Adam had done. He knew what Eve had done. And he still, it was all according to his plan because that was all a part of what was going to be our testing ground. It's a part of what was going to be our testing ground. This is our testing ground. If everything is already heavenly, then how does God know that he can trust you? And so it was the same for Adam, the same for Eve, and it's the same for us. But know that what God made was perfect. What man made and what comes out of man is what's flawed. But we have the opportunity to take the time to reflect, take the time to process, take the time to decompress, take the time to take a deep breath, reassess, and understand what our flaws are, are. But it starts with us as individuals. And if we're able to do that, once we're able to do that, then we can go out and we can help others. So let's pray out. Can you real quick just repeat that, that um, the thing about what you said about Eve uh, being tempted in the garden and responsibility? I said that, you know, according to this, according to the author, Moses, we have to understand that according to Moses, Eve was the one that was tempted. And a lot of times, you know, men try to fault women and say, you know, it's your fault. If it wasn't for women, men wouldn't be in this predicament. But we have to understand that according to the scripture, Adam was created first and Eve was taken from Adam. So bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. And so if Eve was flawed or did have flaws, her flaws came from Adam. So in no way should Eve be the villain uh, for the predicament that our society is in because really it's all a part of God's plan. And that Adam chose and at the end of that situation, Adam chose for himself to also, to also eat of the forbidden fruit. He chose himself. Because even after Eve had eaten the forbidden fruit, Adam could have said no. And he could have said, Lord, this is what happened. This is what transpired. And it was a flaw. You know, we are, we are, we made a mistake or that Eve made a mistake and if you know now it's an opportunity for us to learn from the mistake and he could have chose not to follow her in that in the mistake that she made he could have chose to say you know what i i know better if i didn't communicate it it's on me but i know better and so it's easy for us to sit back and judge someone else but realize that we're all susceptible to to flaws we're all susceptible to error uh, and having a spirit of forgiveness instead of and having a spirit of wanting to vilify someone else. Right, let's pray. So, I'm sure he wants to go 